celebrating the centenary of the birth here of Father Patrick Payton. Patrick Payton was the ordinary son of an ordinary family from this quiet, out-of-the-way place. But the life he lived, especially after his recovery from tuberculosis in the United States, revealed the extraordinary power for good that is often present in the ordinariness and simplicity of our little lives and the faith we live by. Atimas is the place where Father Peyton's life had its beginning. This is the community in which he was born. You are the neighbors. You are his people. The same stock, same history, same struggles, and the same faith. Today we begin a life a year-long celebration in which we want to honor his memory and continue his mission. And I'm certain it's no accident, considering the man we're remembering, that this beginning is made with the television cameras focused on us. Speaking of John the Baptist, today's Gospel says, a man came and sent by God, his name was John, as a witness, a witness for the light. Now that the church recognizes Patrick Payton with the title Servant of God, we can surely say a man came sent by God, his name was Patrick Payton, he came as a witness, a witness to speak for the light. Isn't that the truth? Without ever having to lose anything that this parish gave him, Mayo accent. In fact, by simply announcing to the whole world precisely what this parish and his family gave him, he was, by God's grace, a powerful witness for the light, the light that is prayer, the light that is family, the light for our lives that are the events of Jesus' life that we know as mysteries. In the eloquent meditation that is today's Gospel, St. John tells us that Jesus, that in him, in Jesus, the Word became flesh and lived amongst us. That Word of God still wants to come and dwell amongst us in the hearts and in the flesh of women and men. For this, we are given the gift of faith, that the loving kindness of the heart of our God may be visible in the faces and lives of men and women in every age. One journalist said, those acquainted with Father Pitten will perhaps agree that if there is one secret of his success, it is that love glows and sometimes blazes on his broad, innocent face. The saints are those in whose lives on earth the light of the God who is love shines forth. In declaring Father Payton the servant of God, the first step towards canonization, the Church recognizes officially now what many, many people testify to as their experience of the man. He was a witness to the light, the true light that is Jesus. God never forces himself on anybody. Jesus became flesh only when Mary said yes to God's invitation, his call and the annunciation. She gave her consent with the words, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let what you have said be done to me. Handmaid of the Lord, servant of God, the exact same thing. If Patrick Payton is recognized now as servant, Surely it is because he lived his whole life in deep communion with Mary, the servant of God. His life given entirely to Jesus, the word of God, as Mary's life was. His life a constant meditation on the mysteries of that life of Jesus in the rosary. His life a constant inviting of others to embrace the daily meditation of these mysteries. Praying daily on the word of God in this humble way that was 
the natural order at the hearth of his family home here in Atimas. This was a sure way, he knew, to peace in our hearts, peace in the home, and to peace.